person who hits you. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. There's moving, and there's moving with Move Free Ultra. It has triple action support for your joints, cartilage, and bones. And unlike big glucosamine chondroitin pills, it's all in one tiny pill. Try Move Free Ultra now. Feel the difference. Three on your side. WLBT News at 4.30 starts now. President Trump issued a statement early today promising an orderly transition on January 20th, but still refusing to concede a loss affirmed by Congress hours after his supporters attacked the Capitol. Alice Barr has the latest from the White House. Growing pressure today to hold President Trump accountable for urging on his supporters before an angry mob stormed the Capitol and then not condemning them afterwards. Top Democratic leaders calling for Vice President Mike Pence to assume the Oval Office under the 25th Amendment. I joined the Senate Democratic leader in calling on the Vice President to remove this president by immediately invoking the 25th Amendment. Even some Republicans now say President Trump should not be allowed to wield the powers of the presidency in his final 13 days in office. The president is unfit and the president is unwell. Early this morning, President Trump finally committed to an orderly transition of power through a tweet from a White House aide, Twitter having frozen the president's account and Facebook locking him out indefinitely. The statement came minutes after Congress finished counting the electoral votes, affirming President-elect Joe Biden's victory. Biden today squarely blaming President Trump for the chaos at the Capitol. Our president is not above the law. Justice serves the people. It doesn't protect the powerful. Several Trump administration officials resigning in protest to the president's handling of the crisis, including Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao, wife of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, and Special Envoy to Northern Ireland Mick Mulvaney. But I can't stay here, I, I, not after yesterday. Former Attorney General William Barr accused the president of, quote, orchestrating a mob to pressure Congress, calling it a betrayal. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. The ACLU of Mississippi is warning public officials to block social media accounts. The ACLU says that by blocking members of the public from their official social media accounts, they are violating the First Amendment. Governor Tate Reeves, Mayor Shokwe Antar Lumumba, Mayor Hal Marks of Petal, Congressman Stephen Palazzo, and the Jones County Sheriff's Department are all accused to be in violation. The ACLU of Mississippi received complaints from people whose comments, which expressed viewpoints that were critical of several elected officials, were deleted and their accounts blocked and banned from the official pages. New at 4.30, one of the nation's leading poultry companies announced today that they are shutting down three of their Mississippi processing plants. Pico Foods says they're closing down their Canton plant as well as operations in Philadelphia and Brooksville. Over 200 people will be losing their jobs at the Canton plant. The company says they're shutting down operations there and expanding at other locations as a strategic plan to align with changing customer needs. The closures will start in March and complete this summer. Pico is offering their workers employment opportunities within the company at other locations. UPS says it has fired a worker caught on camera making racist remarks during a delivery in Milwaukee. Emily Thornton has more on this. No, you don't give f***ing nothing because you're a stupid mother You can't read, write, and speak the f***ing English language. A former UPS worker was caught on camera accusing the family of being unable to read, write, or speak English. The family does speak English and have never met the driver before. According to Forward Latino, the family is still waiting on the package. He doesn't knock, he doesn't click on the doorbell, but instead directly reaches for the failed attempt to deliver sticker. In a statement Tuesday, UPS said, we immediately contacted the family to offer our deepest apologies when we learned about this incident. There is no place in any community for racism, bigotry, or hate. This is very serious and we promptly took action, terminating the driver's employment. Forward Latino says the family did not get a direct apology and they want to still have a conversation with UPS. Being that the homeowner is in law enforcement, uh, and the mother is, is, has been a long-term employee in a social service agency, they see the importance of human dignity, of mutual respect, 
of working together as one community to make Milwaukee and southeastern Wisconsin everything we know it can be, but it's for these deliberate, divisive acts of hate that we all must be willing to stand up and say our wrong and take corrective action on. On top of a direct apology, the family and a Ford Latino want UPS to make investments in inclusion training and a donation to the Hispanic Scholarship Fund to help reestablish trust with the community. We're not warm and sunny anymore. You probably noticed that. Here's First Lord Meteorologist Rachel Coulter with the latest on the colder and cloudier conditions. It's hard to believe we started off this week almost hitting 70 degrees. That was not the case today. All thanks to that first system we've been talking about too all week long. So that first one impacting us today, especially this morning, bringing all that rainfall. This is what we're seeing now, even though the heavy rain is well east of our area at this point, actually going to be causing some wintry weather issues out towards the east coast. What we're seeing still some gloomy conditions and you see the a really fuzzy horizon there indicating that potential for some mist as well. So you may need those windshield wipers getting out and about. So I certainly grab the coats as well. Look at your temperatures. All of us within a couple of degrees of each other. Those mid to 40s. It's chilly. It's a little breezy as well, making it feel even colder and temperatures will be only going down from here. So we're going to be looking at those low 40s here as we wrap up the evening hours forecast high temperatures looking pretty chilly even through the entire weekend. Only 40 degree high temperature forecast for your Monday afternoon and of course morning lows even colder and we have a potential for some precipitation. So will we see snow? I'll have a look at our latest forecast coming up. This is WLBT First Alert Traffic. All right, time to get a look at traffic. This is I-55 South at McDowell Road, and we're happy to report, as you can see, nothing happening there to back up rush hour traffic. I hope it stays that way. We're monitoring, and we hope you are being safe as well. I'll let you know if there are any changes. All right, due to the NBC special report yesterday, the 3.30 p.m. episode of Jeopardy and the Chicago Trilogy was preempted. Now, we are letting you know Jeopardy will re-air Friday, January 8th at 11.30 a.m. And the Chicago Trilogy will air on Wednesday, January 13th. Next, many of you have made your New Year's resolutions, but how much is it costing you? I'll tell you when we return. These are real people, not actors, who've got their eczema under control. With less eczema, you can show more skin. So roll up those sleeves and help heal your skin from within with Dupixent. Dupixent is the first treatment of its kind that continuously treats moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis, even flare-ups. Dupixent is a biologic and not a cream steroid. Many people taking Dupixent saw clear or almost clear skin and had significantly less itch. Don't use if you're allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur, including anaphylaxis, which is severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes or a parasitic infection. If you take asthma medicines, don't change or stop them without talking to your doctor. So help heal your skin from within and talk to your eczema specialist about Dupixent. If your financial situation has changed, we may be able to help. Ovation Wellness is excited to provide ex health care to women and men. We have moved to Madison, Mississippi and look forward to taking care of you in our new private office setting. Ovation Wellness is a clinic that focuses on hormone balance for women and men, sexual health, and pelvic and bladder dysfunction. We also offer annual care for women and men. Call us today to begin your journey into a wellness-centered, healthier you. We are six days into the new year, and what's that resolution costing you now? Seven days, actually. Retail Me Not conducted a survey and found 70% of Americans made a resolution for the new year. Now, fitness remains a high priority. Among Americans making resolutions, 71% have their sights set on health and fitness in 2021. 34% say they expect to spend money to maintain their resolution this year. On average, they're planning to spend $666, which is $176 more than last year. For almost a decade now, people around the world have opted out of drinking alcohol in January to start the new year off. 
with a clean slate. That's a chain laws has given people an alternative to partake in. Dan has the details. For many Americans, this is dry January, putting down the bottle and perhaps picking up something else. We did a recent survey with Harris Poll and found that a lot of patients, around 30% of the patients that had turned to cannabis, were using cannabis instead of alcohol. A survey by CureLeaf says Americans who have started using or increasing the use of cannabis since the pandemic are using it to deal with stress, to relax, and to aid sleep. It's also legally available in many states. There's been a really big sea change in cannabis use over the past couple of years. We're now at a point where more than half of the United States has access to legal cannabis in some form. And there are a wide range of options for consumers. And that's things like tinctures and mints and nano gummies, all these things that you wouldn't necessarily associate with cannabis. But before starting, Dr. Stacia Woodcock says, Talk to an expert. Um, I think coming into a dispensary, talking with um, a pharmacist like me or an associate that's really educated is what's most important because people are trying to figure this out on their own. They may not necessarily know what ratios and dosages are right. Be careful and legal this new year. And we are tracking the potential for some snow heading into the start of next week. I'm going to be breaking down the latest thinking on the forecast as we head into the weekend coming up. Your treasure your choice of sleigh beds in twin, full, or for only $1.99. And complete the set with dresser, mirror, and chest for only $6.99. And while you're here, let us help you find the perfect mattress set for a good night's sleep. We'll make your house a we do it every night. Like clockwork. Do it. Run your dishwasher with Cascade Platinum and save water. Did you know certified dishwashers use less than four gallons per cycle? While a running sink uses that every two minutes. So do it with Cascade, the surprising way to save water. Every time you touch a surface, bacteria is left behind. Try Microvan 24. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses initially and keeps killing bacteria for 24 hours, even after multiple touches. Try Microvan. All right, I brought in Ensure Max Protein to give you the protein you need. With less of the sugar, you don't. I'll take that. 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Ensure Max Protein with nutrients to support immune health. Hi there, Warby Parker here for a quick reminder. You can use FSA, HSA, and select insurance benefits to buy prescription eyeglasses, sunglasses, and contact lenses at warbyparker.com or at one of our retail locations. Some people say that we get our clients too much money, but how much would you need to be paying excruciating pain for life to have your happiness taken, your joy in life decreased? We recover millions for our clients because that's fair and just. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Pretty Litter, the world's smartest kitty litter. It's odorless, guaranteed. Color-changing crystals help monitor kitty's health. One bag, one cat, one month. Delivered direct to your door. PrettyLitter.com. Get started today. Pretty cool. TND has a large selection of solid wood unfinished furniture. And you don't have to be a pro to paint, stain, or decorate it to fit your style. The possibilities are endless, so come to TND Furniture and we'll get you started. Nature will make your house a home. This is WLBT First Alert. This is the view of many of us walking out the door as we kick off our Thursday evening. It's pretty gloomy out there. We've got lots of cloud cover. It's a little breezy as well. And you notice some of those uh, misty conditions that you're seeing on the horizon here as you take a live view there of the Capitol building from downtown Jackson. It's 46 degrees, but you factor in these winds that are out of the west at 10 miles an hour. That drops your feels like temperature to the low 40s. So if you felt like it just feels colder outside than the mid to upper 40s, you were right. It's because of the breezy conditions that we're experiencing. So it almost feels like the upper 30s and that was the case even in the peak heating hours of the day. We've just had all of this cloud cover all thanks to this system that continues to work overhead and it's eventually going to push eastward. You see that change over to winter precipitation on the north side. Our next system is going to be displaced to the south and so that's why we are forecasting that potential for a change over to some wintry precipitation which I'll be talking about in a second. I do want to point out though if you are about to head out the door we do have some of those uh, misty conditions in multiple spots including the Jackson Metro that 
that stretches out towards northwestern Leake County, even parts of Warren County and Yazoo County. Seeing that as well may need to turn on the windshield wipers a couple of times getting out and about. Certainly grab the jacket. The clouds are here to stay through tomorrow as we get into the weekend. We'll finally start to see some sunshine and as we're focused on all of this nice sunshine, even though it's still going to be really cold, we're going to be waking up in the 20s, only reaching the 40s, even despite all of that sunshine Saturday uh, and Sunday, really. But we're going to be focused on this system out to the west. So here's our second system, and this is what we're going to be watching for. That could be bringing us not only some rain, but also some snow. A rain snow mix can't be ruled out as we wrap up the weekend and start off into next work week. So this first system that's about to exit the region, but we'll still see a few showers from this and cloudy and colder conditions. The second one at this point, looking at data, starting to see some consistency, which I'll show you here in a second, uh, that this rides along the Gulf Coast. And we've been talking about how that would give us the greatest potential of seeing not only rain, but also snow due to some of those colder conditions in the area. We had a couple of tracks outlined for you in potential outcomes. So that northerly track would have been wetter and not as cold, very similar to what we're seeing today. That system to the north of us, allowing us to be on the wetter side of things. And again, not as cold, but if that's farther to the south, as I mentioned before, that's when we could see that change over to some snow, especially in our central and northwestern counties. If that tracks farther off towards the south, which is still a possibility, and this would limit things altogether for us. We would be cold, but it would be drier. So keep this in mind as we anticipate this system that there are some changes that can happen. There's still some of those limiting factors that could change this altogether, but we're really looking for some trends here out of the data, and we're starting to find some. So one model has been pretty consistent. What you're seeing in pink is the run of data. So where it projected, projected the possibility of some snowfall at this latest run in the previous run uh, really close lining almost right up with it so that shows us there's some consistency we're starting to see a pattern Let's look at another model. Uh, this latest run, not as impressed, still showing some potential for a dusting, some low accumulations of snow, but not as widespread as that previous run. So still a little inconsistent. Once this all comes together, we're going to have a much better idea. But as it stands right now, uh, there is some snow impact potential, maybe a dusting, maybe some issues on the roadways. Can't rule that out, especially for the Jackson Metro heading off towards the north and west. Less likely impacts in our southeastern counties. I do want to point out, though, before Monday even gets here, Look at your weekend forecast. I mentioned this. We're going to be waking up in the 20s, only reaching the 40s. It's going to be a very cold weekend. We'll be dry most of the weekend. It doesn't look like all of this starts to move in until about 8, 9, 10 o'clock Sunday night, and that's going to be for our western counties. It'll move through. We're going to be watching Monday very closely, and this forecast will likely change a little bit here in the coming days. We're still several days out. We're Thursday. We've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get through in terms of model data, really getting a better idea of how this system is going to perform. So check back in. We're going to keep you posted on what you need to know heading into that middle of the forecast. Tonight, a Dateline NBC exclusive. For the first time on television, the families of George Floyd, Jacob Blake Jr., and Eric Garner speak with Craig Melvin in a raw and emotional conversation about their pain, anger, and frustration over police violence. Here's a preview. 2020 was a year like no other. Testing America at every turn. But it was the wave of police violence against African Americans last spring and summer no that pushed many to the breaking point. Millions of protesters poured into the streets, heartbroken and angry over what many see as a long standing pattern of police brutality. Who do you protect? Who do you George Floyd, Breonna Taylor. Rayshard Brooks, Elijah McLean, and Jacob Blake all tragically became household names in 2020, putting their family's grief on public display <laughs> in ways almost impossible to understand and thrusting the family members into unfamiliar roles at the head of a movement. The people marching in the streets are telling you enough is enough. Dateline brings some of these families together for the first time. The siblings of George Floyd, who died under a Minneapolis police officer's knee. The father and sister of Jacob Blake, who was shot in the back multiple times by Kenosha, Wisconsin police. 
and the mother and son of Eric Garner, whose death from a New York City police officer's chokehold in 2014 in some ways gave rise to today's movement. This is my family. We didn't choose this family. This family chose us. Journey for Justice will also feature interviews with key experts and lawmakers on the demand for major police reforms and what they think should be done. That's right here at 9 p.m. on WLBT. A canyon that puts the Grand Canyon to shame and an ancient Roman relic hiding in a backyard garden coming up in today's Take a Look at This. I'm your Mississippi attorney, Richard Schwartz. For over 38 years, I've helped 18-wheeler accident victims recover millions of dollars. Remember, Mississippi, if you've been involved in an 18-wheeler accident, one call, that's all. After Christmas savings, end of the year savings, whatever you want to call it, Cowboy Maloney has it at special prices, and we still even have freezers. Get guaranteed lowest prices on appliances, furniture, bedding, and electronics. Get up to 36 months interest-free financing with no money down or our no credit check program with a 90-day option. Purchase a Tempur-Pedic mattress set with up to 60 months interest-free financing and receive a gift, a queen-size Sealy bed in the box. In Jackson on I-55 North and near the Coliseum. Flowood, Clinton, Pearl, and Vicksburg. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. If you have or are eligible for Medicaid, please listen closely. You may be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare with a zero or low plan premium. Call now. We can answer your questions and help you enroll over the phone. WellCare provides access to essential benefits that go beyond original Medicare, such as dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage with free home delivery. Plus, extra benefits like free over-the-counter health care items, free transportation, free gym membership, and home-delivered meals. Get more access to care with WellCare's telehealth services, including online doctor visits and a 24-hour nurse advice line. WellCare's contract with Medicare to provide plans that may be perfect for you. Call 1-866-907-5950. That's 1-866-907-5950. My psoriatic arthritis pain, I had enough. It's not getting in my way. Joint pain, swelling, tenderness, much better. My psoriasis, clearer. Cosentix works on all of this. Four years and counting. So watch out. I got this. Watch me. Real people with active psoriatic arthritis look and feel better with Cosentix. Cosentix works fast. Results that can last. It treats the multiple symptoms of psoriatic arthritis, like joint pain and tenderness, back pain, and helps stop further joint damage. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and low to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. I just look and feel better. I got real relief with Cosentix. Watch me. Feel real relief. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. The number of fatalities involving semi-trucks are increasing every year. The laws governing 18-wheeler accidents are more complicated than car accidents. Don't fight it alone. I'm your Mississippi attorney, Richard Schwartz. Remember, one call, that's all. The Grand Canyon is the largest in the world, but NASA scientists just dropped brand new images of a Martian canyon that's as big as the entire United States. Jeremy Roth has today's Take a Look at This. NASA has released amazing high-resolution photos of what they're calling the largest canyon in the entire solar system. Yes, way larger than the Grand Canyon. The Valles Marineris on Mars stretches over 2,500 miles across the Martian equator and is seven miles deep. This visual comparison gives an indication of just how big we're talking. The agency says if the canyon were on Earth, it would stretch the length of the United States from San Francisco to New York City. The new images were taken by a special camera called HiRISE. It's the most powerful camera ever sent to another planet. Despite the amazing new images and insights, scientists still aren't sure how the gargantuan gorge was formed. And from a discovery in the galaxy far, far away to a discovery from a civilization long, long ago. How's that for a segue? 
English auction house Woolley and Wallace are trying to solve a mystery of how an ancient Roman relic ended up in a homeowner's garden. The homeowner had no idea that what she was using as a horse mounting block was an ancient Roman marble slab dated to the second century. Artifacts like this came to England in the 18th and 19th centuries via wealthy traveling aristocrats, but how it ended up in the garden is a mystery. The auction house has asked locals about it and is preparing to sell the stone, which is garnering pre-sale estimates of up to $20,000. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. All right, let's check in with Rachel. One more look at our first alert weather. If you have plans to get out the door tonight, don't forget the jacket. It's chilly outside. It's already cold, and then we have those uh, westerly winds that are making it feel even colder. And we have some really cold temperatures in the forecast this weekend. Any plans at any point of the day, especially the mornings, we're going to need the winter gear because we're going to be waking up to the 20s, only reaching the 40s despite some sunshine that'll move in Saturday. Clouds stick with us tomorrow, though. Then Sunday into Monday, we're still watching for the potential of some rain and snow. We still have limiting factors. There's a lot that goes into this forecast and it's Thursday. We're talking about Monday. Chief Meteorologist Dave Roberts is going to be breaking down the latest data here in a little bit more detail coming up at five. And next at five more reaction on the Capitol breach at five. At the Martha Coker Greenhouse Homes, life revolves around the elders, each in a private room near a large living area. Elders enjoy delicious home cooking at the spacious dining table and can control their own interaction chatting with housemates, or retreating to their rooms to relax. At the Martha Coker Greenhouse Homes in Yazoo City, you'll be right at home. Won't you join us? Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. We've created the best offer yet with our New Year's Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. Try it for only $14.95 at PlexidermTrial.com. Watch your under-eye bags, crow's feet, and wrinkles shrink from view in 10 minutes. So I've had under-eye bags for a very long time, and it sucks. And I took the Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge, and I'm not joking. It works. I'm Neela. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to take care of yourself. Plexiderm, seriously, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. This new year is the best time to try Plexiderm at our starter price of only $14.95. So if under-eye bags make you look tired or feel older, take action this new year and see that younger-looking you. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Love lower than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Kroger, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Okay, Limu, you said it. Then as I spike it, I'll tell them how Liberty Mutual customizes car insurance so they only pay for what they need. Got it? Did you get that? Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Here's something the insurance companies don't want you to know. When you hire a personal injury lawyer, on average, you'll get three times more money than those who don't. Now you know. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. Do you know a student that deserves to be in the spotlight? Everyday local students are working hard at their dreams and inspiring others. And WLBT will shine a light on one special student. Nominate them today at MississippiWeekend.com. Celebrate this new year right. Shop Gilman Furniture's 12 months no interest sale. Two days only, January 8th and 9th. Enjoy 10 to 50% off every item in the store. That's right, get 12 months interest free with no down payment. Plus, we offer convenient delivery. It's two days only, January 8th and 9th. Come celebrate with us at any of our five locations, Hazelhurst, Crystal Springs, McGee, McCone, and Brookhaven. Or visit us online at TillmanFurniture.com. I was pissed off and angry uh, by seeing this, this violent mob. This wasn't protest, this was anarchy. Reaction from lawmakers to yesterday's violent protest at our nation's capital, plus safety measures being taken here to our state capital. 
Also, a big employer in three Mississippi cities shutting its doors. We'll tell you why. It's been a cold rain for now, but will be cold enough for some wintry weather come this weekend. My forecast coming up. Three on your side. WLBT News at 5 starts now. A violent mob tried and failed to stop Congress from doing their constitutional duty Wednesday. And today, many lawmakers are speaking out and calling for President Donald Trump's removal from office with less than two weeks before President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in. Karen Kafa has details. It's a genuine question to